Hello everyone and welcome back to War of Harmony 4. This will likely be the final video I make of this game. First things first, uh, apparently the shop, the last shop uh, for buying uh, magic waters from and maybe some other items, it was apparently at the start of this maze. I just, I somehow missed it. It was behind a thicket. And I'm going back there right now because I really desperately need more magic water. This giant maze right here though, it is the final place where we can uh, fight generic enemies. I suppose there will be a boss after this area, and I'll have to be pretty powerful to handle it, but as far as generic enemies goes, this is the final area for them. And apparently there's a strategy to handle them real- yeah, it's right here. How could I have missed that? I can use the crystal once. Apparently there's an easy way to deal with these enemies. And we can get those level 5 uh, defense gem. The easy way to deal with the enemies- oh goodness. Actually, right now, a bit. Uh, it involves using confusion because they're vulnerable to it, and it completely can't solve their turn, and it gives them gives them a chance to actually attack each other. And it only costs five magic points to use, so apparently it's really useful. We'll try it out right now against this enemy. You attack, uh, you do nothing, and you confuse. So, 50% chance of succeeding. And it cancelled out the, this Timberwolf's turn, as you, some of you may have noticed. So I'll attack the Timberwolf uh, right hip here first. You'd think the party cannon would increase... Uh... Oh, right. And that's the, the, what makes it so uh, powerful. It actually poisons... They can actually poison themselves by attacking each other. Which causes 700 HP of damage every turn. Kills them really quick. So yeah, com at this part of the game, you want to use Trixie's Confusion to defeat these enemies real quick. Saves lots of magic. Saves lots of time and whatnot. And makes things fairly easy. And this Timberwolf is no longer confused, so I guess we'll finish it off. Because poison, it's 7.5% uh, damage, I bet. That means they have like 9,000 HP, these wolves. Goodness gracious. Well, I could be using Fire Breath right now and it would uh, make this fight happen uh, much faster, but... Yeah, it's almost dead. In fact, it's probably got 1 HP right now. Because uh, if Poison cannot kill the, these enemies. I guess I'll use Fire Breath for this one. Finish it off real quick. Oh my goodness, Pinky's almost down. Assassin Edge! And... No, what? Let's try confusing it. Ah. Uh. And now Pinkie Pie's down. Great, I have to use the crystal again. And it was just about dead, too. Of course, it's not represented at all in... In uh, our overworld sprites, that Pinkie Pie is dead right now, but whatever. It's the last area. Anyway, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the slender pages, they don't do anything. The creator put them there because apparently if you collect them, they'll have some effect in part two of War of Harmony 4. Except I don't know how that would work. I don't think it's possible to make save files of a... Uh, game to work on another like a uh, RPG Maker VX game. Of course that's just me, but even though even so I, I I doubt the creator will do anything with this. Anything that will have like actual relevance beyond for like the five minutes it will be mentioned in. So no worries, Slender Pony, Slender Man, Slender Mare, he's not gonna show up here. Now, apparently I've been doing some bad choices in this game, and that's true, I've done the bad choices. For example, right in the beginning I insulted Trixie, and because of that she wasn't, she didn't let me, ex she didn't bother explaining why she was like, a whole story about uh, her being dead, and her like, uh, having to revive herself, uh, or actually no, she, did, she didn't revive herself, she just happens to be still alive right now. 
And there's another page right here. More to the point though, uh, me burning the eggs, the spider eggs. Because I burned the eggs, I lost, I missed out on an explanation that uh, getting the offering of the moon would uh, like activate the uh, self-destruct system, quote unquote. Although personally, it would have been better to just imply that by activating the system as soon as I picked the offering of the moon up. Activating the system at an arbitrary time much later on, that's not very intuitive. You know, with all the grim dark stuff the creator added to this game, I I wonder, I, I've, I've thought about this, but uh, mo what most comes to mind right now is Trixie dying. Does, does the creator know that ponies die when they're killed? Does he actually think that killing is just like getting hurt? Because it would explain why the, the creator didn't bother explaining why Trixie's still alive. I know it sounds a bit insulting, but it's what I think. I, I genuinely think the creator doesn't know that killing actually means you don't get to come back. I suppose the creator just wants to keep mysteries up, but uh, he's doing this very badly so far. Uh, I, uh, by the way, Doomsday, he never responded to the last video, so because of this, uh, I have no map. And I don't know if I'm going the right way. Am I not supposed to go to, towards the center, actually? Well, as long as I face more enemies, I think I'm going the right way. This confusion technique is working great, by the way. Thanks a lot whoever told me about it. The fact these enemies can poison themselves helps uh, that strategy a lot. First and most, most of all. It also helps a lot that the uh, confusion like stops their turn. I think I'm going the right way, by the way. Somehow. Either that or I'm going the way back and... Yeah, I figured. Well, no, actually, I, I just found another page. Hmm. Now I can see why Doomsday made a map of this place, because it's actually very easy to get lost in it. Well, any time mazes come up, uh, if you stay on one side, you should eventually get to the exit. I've learned that from watching Cardcaptor's French version when I was much younger. One of the episodes I mentioned that. I don't know why it stuck to my mind. I guess I just thought it was like really genius. I'm guessing I have to go to, to this area over there. I keep thinking there's going to be a secret passage where I'm going to be able to go through the ticket at some point, but it hasn't come up yet. Yeah, right over there. I have to go up there. Somehow. Or down there, rather. And I just did. Huh. I guess I forgot to get through here before. I'm guessing I'm coming up to a boss soon. So I'm going to make another save just in case. Yeah, game over right now is what I'm. Like, it would be extremely tragic, is what I'm saying. Trixie turned level 16 on that last fight, so. Yep. Right here. Next area. Final area, even. Just gonna make sure I'm at full power. Got. 12 spare magic waters. Uh, Pinkie Pie's not at full power. Pinkie Pie's been useless in those last few fights, by the way. Trixie and Rarity are the only ponies I really need face off against the timber walls with the confusion technique. It's crazy. Now we're in the mirror pool. I don't remember it being beyond a huge uh, thicket of forest like that, but apparently that's what it is. So apparently I have to check teens out here, and I can't run. And why is Celeste's cutie mark down there? Can't reach it. Hmm. W what are we doing here, anyway? We have to go inside the mirror pool? Uh, 
yes, I do. Yes, why not? Wait, wait, is she staying here or is she, like, helping me? Uh, whatever. This is not how the mirror pool works, by the way. I don't... Mirror your pool. So is this, like, final dungeon, I suppose? There's no enemies in there, I, I, I'm almost certain. Whatever, let's go inside. Hmm. I, I, I have to be. There's nothing else I can do. I can't sell my equipment and, uh... I equipped the rarity with pretty much the best I can. Now, what am I supposed to do here? I can't run, by the way. Okay, this portal is inactive. The ones on the left end... Well, no, only the one on the left is active right now. So let's go to it. This is not how the mirror pool works at all, by the way. Oh, goodness. It's her. Uh, too terribly fond. Okay, not. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, that's no no special boss, no anything. This is how the creator decided to end this. That that was abrupt. I normally this would be the part where I would review the game, do plenty of criticism about it, but I think I made my opinion of this game pretty clear since the last two videos, or three videos. First, summation of all of them, it's a bad game, and nothing, you'd have to take the whole project uh, down and make it back for, up from the ground up uh, to, to fix this game. And the fact that the creator is making a sequel shows he hasn't really learned anything, at least so far. But he can, he can turn things around if he thinks about it. Well, I missed out on a lot of information playing this game, so I'll be doing non-commentary playthroughs sometime in the future. But more important to the task is my next playthrough, or rather the playthrough after that. I know what game I'm playing next. I'm playing a game I'm going to like because uh, I think some of you might have uh, might be thinking that I'm not enjoying LPing games right now. But I'm gonna play a game I like, and uh, we'll all enjoy it. I can assure you all. And I'm not going to try to hide what it is. It's going to be Pikmin 1 on the Wii. But for the game after I play Pikmin, it's not going to be necessarily Pikmin 2. I want you guys to think about which game it's going to be. I, I have a list right here, actually. You can vote on what the, my next game is going to be. And I have four choices right now. So first game you guys can vote for is Dungeon Keeper 1. I played that game before on Sellout Sunday. And I enjoyed it quite a bit, but I, I have never completed it, and it's a unique experience, and I'm looking, I'm, I'm thinking about seeing how it ends. Uh, it's a bit, I think it, it's a bit repetitive, but there were some elements I hadn't, like, uh, fully explored in my Sellout Sunday video, like the first person thing where you can possess your own creatures, and I want to see, like, how that changes things around the game. In case you guys don't want to vote for that, the second choice is Tomb Raider 1. I, or, uh, I basically, uh, downloaded the entire series uh, in Steam a while ago and I I don't want to let these games just hang there for no reason at all so I thought I'd start with the very first Tomb Raider because I've never beaten it. My computer was really crappy when it just had just come out. So that's the second choice. Third choice, Deus Ex or Deus Ex or however it said, Human Revolution. I, I haven't played the first and the second one but the third one apparently it's uh, not as bad as the second one and actually pretty good and it'd be me playing going into the series uh, for the first time so it'd be a very blind playthrough but i think it'd be a very interesting experience i i I'm, i downloaded it on my wii u not the pc version so it'd be playing on that control so if there's anything particularly bad about the wii u version then perhaps it some of you can inform me about that but otherwise we could try that out too because it's on the list and the final game <laughs> i think most of you will probably vote for this one but sonic lost world i bought that game a while ago or actually i got it for christmas but still and I played the first world so to get a good hang of how it is. I thought it was okay, not as good as colors, but I never bothered continuing after that because I moved on to other games. But this is your chance to make me finish it. 
I don't know if I'll be going through all the DLC of that game, but it's a platformer with very short levels, so it'd be pretty decent experience to play. Let's play. So yeah, that's basically your four choices. Dungeon Keeper 1, Tomb Raider 1, Duisex Human Revolution, and Sonic Lost World. You guys will have several weeks to vote for which one you want me to play, and keep voting for the game you want me to play, because I'll keep track of the votes, and I'll tally up like the winners uh, in order to see... Uh, to to, to like uh, see which one do you guys want to p me to play first. So if like Tomb Raider 1 ends up second or third, eh, I'm going to take that into account and probably let's play it based on its position on the rankings. Capisce? And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, after a while, I've uh, just playing uh, probably mini games and flash games on my channel. I'll be going ahead and uh, playing Pikmin 1. And after Pikmin 1 and many more get mini games and whatnot, I'll be starting whatever game uh, won the poll. The poll will last until I finish Pikmin 1, probably. So there's plenty of time for you guys to vote for which game I'll play. That's Dungeon Keeper 1, Tomb Raider 1, Deus Ex Human Revolution, Revolution, and Sonic Lost World. That's the third time I've repeated that. Anyway, War of Harmony 4, I don't think I'll be playing part 2 of that game. Uh, you no, know, to make a statement that it's garbage and I want this things to be much better. I don't like this edgy stuff. With uh, no, like, thought put into what happens. But of course I'll be playing the part one again multiple times to show all you guys all the information and backstory and whatnot. Uh, well, I hope you've somehow enjoyed my let's play of uh, War of Harmony 4 and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a very nice day. See you next time for Pikmin 1 or other videos. Bye bye!